it was 100% lighthearted. It was I was upset with the decision, but honestly, it didn't matter nearly as much to me until after all of this happened to me. A high school student says he meant no harm when he spoke up against school board policy. Thanks for joining us. I'm Josh Rowe. I'm Kim Chapman. When the Grundy County School Board announced that the high school's valedictorian would be someone who's graduating early, Trevor Sanders got on Facebook to say he thinks that's unfair. Now, after that, the sheriff's office arrested him for harassment. Tonight, in an exclusive interview, Trevor Sanders tells James Torres he wants to see a change in board policy and in how the county handles free speech. Current school board policy says that a student has to attend Grundy County High School for at least two years in order to be considered at the top spot at graduation. A night in jail and a suspension isn't stopping a student from trying to change that policy, and the Grundy County School Board at one point was on his side. We've shown you this Facebook video before. You have a warrant for my arrest. It's when officers arrested Trevor Sanders. According to court documents, Sanders harassed the school's valedictorian with comments on his Facebook page. I believe it may have made her uncomfortable, and I understand that, but I don't believe being uncomfortable because of somebody's comments, unless it's directly threatening to you, I don't believe that constitutes as harassment. Trevor says the comments on his page were not against the school's valedictorian. They were against the school board's policy regarding valedictorians. The school announced a student who only attended the high school for three years would take the top spot at graduation. Trevor says he thinks that honor should go to a student enrolled for all four years. There was a school board meeting which decided that she would be ineligible. That meeting was in December. In this Facebook Live video from that day, Director of Schools Jesse Kinsey announced during a workshop that GCHS's principal wanted to recommend changes to the school's handbook about who can be considered for valedictorian and salutatorian. According to the board's approved minutes for that meeting, the board approved those recommendations, then withdrew them at their next meeting at the advice of the board's attorney. It's a big deal to me because I feel that their hard work for four years shouldn't be discredited, even if an incredible student were to finish high school in three years. Trevor says his fight to change policy was never meant to offend the student receiving the honor. It's incredibly impressive that she has been able to do all this extra work to graduate early and I hold no animosity toward her for absolutely any of this. Travis says he thinks the real reason he was jailed was for speaking out against the policy. He says even if nothing changes after graduation, the suspension and arrest were worth it to try. Once it's all said and over with, I may not look back on it like it was the biggest deal in my life, but I will care about the fact that I stood up with my class to fight this decision. We did reach out to Director of Schools Jesse Kinsey for this story, asking what advice the school board's attorney had when it came to this valedictorian issue. We have not heard back just yet. Trevor tells us that teachers are discouraging students from speaking about this issue in the classroom. Ever since we first told you this story last Last week, both students and parents have told us that same thing. Reporting in Grundy County, I'm James Torres. Grundy County Schools will hold a school board meeting tomorrow. Several parents and students have told us they will be there to talk about the graduation issue. Trevor says he will listen to the advice of his attorney on whether he should attend.